Welcome to the Create with Ease podcast. I am Grace Covington, your host, and it has been a moment since I've done a podcast. Have been traveling back to back. So you remember I was in Panama. Then once we got back from Panama, we were in Cali, and then now I'm in a completely different state, which I will talk about a little bit. I'm currently not in my home state, Florida, but still traveling and creating my life, creating a joyous life and a business. And today, really excited to be back with the podcast and with the topic that I'm going to be speaking to you about, which is are you choosing in your life? Are you choosing in your life or are you waiting for life to choose you? Are you waiting to be chosen? So let's take a little pause. We'll talk about the travels and dive right into our topic. So after all of this travel, I've been traveling since April. If you're on you know, my social media feeds or on Instagram, you know that I've been on the road, different countries, and it got to a point where my body just needed to ground, to slow down, to take time, to just decompress. Because sometimes travel can be a lot, especially if you're going to a different country, you're experiencing different energies, different time zones. So all of that can also have an impact on your body. And my body was totally ready for rest. Sometimes I can go, 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 but this is definitely a season of rest and retreat. And so now I am in literally the woods, surrounded by nature, close to these amazing hiking trails that I just can wake up in the morning, hit a trail, be outside. And these are the things that allows my body to really thrive. So I'm in that creative zone. So I'm tapping into my greatest capacities is when I'm fully immersed and deeply connected and communing with nature. This is what truly works for me and my body. And so my I will choose those experiences because I know I'm going to create the greatest when I am in that space. And so it's been a blessing. It has been a joy, even though, you know, in Florida, I love Florida and the sunshine and it's shining all the time here. The weather is a little bit cooler, but it's been beautiful. It hasn't been like cold and to be able to see the fall colors and still be immersed in the peace of nature has been a joyous gift. Which moves us into the question is, are you choosing the life that you are asking for? And we think that we don't have choice to choose all of these things, to choose what truly works for us. So if you, if your body is a body that loves to consistently travel, uh, be around other bodies, be in nature, be in the sun, be on the beach, be in the jungle, be in like beautiful places, elegant places. You can choose that. We have forgotten the power that we have. And sometimes what comes to our detriment is the space that we are waiting to be chosen. And a clear example of this is, let's say in a relationship, you are looking for that partner, that amazing person that you would love to spend time with, be with. And then you're like, oh, I hope this person chooses me. I hope this person chooses me. I hope this person chooses me. Or in the case of, let's say a job, you find an opportunity, you have the qualifications, you are just an amazing person. And then you go for the interview and then you're like, I hope, I hope this job chooses me. I hope this job chooses me. I hope this job job chooses me in business. You are creating your business and you start to have conversations with people and there are people that are interested in working with you. And you're like, I hope these people will choose me to be their coach. I hope they choose me. I hope they choose me. I hope they choose me. When you are 
creating your life from the space of waiting to be chosen, that's exactly what you create in your life. You are giving away your power to create when you are begging, hoping, pleading that someone will choose you rather than creating what you desire to create and have. And the energy is completely different when you are being the choosing one, because now you are no longer waiting for people. You are no longer doubting yourself. You're no longer questioning. You are stepping firmly into your capacities, knowing that you can choose this, you can have this, you can create it. That is a different energy than one of begging and pleading. Because begging and pleading, you are coming from a space of doubt, a space of lack. Knowing and choosing and actually choosing, you just tap into that energy for a moment. The energy of, I'm choosing this. I'm having this. That energy brings forth other energies to contribute to your creations. You are not alone on this planet that you have to figure every single detail of how things are going to come together, how it's going to show up, how it's going to work out when you choose. Those energies that contribute to you, the way is opened, the possibilities show up. This is how powerful you are. So what are you not choosing that you could be choosing that? And if you chose it, it would change your whole life. That's a question I posed today in my stories on Instagram. Like, what if, what would you like to choose that you are not choosing? And what if what actually creates what you desire is choosing it first, not the other way, waiting for the money to show up, waiting for you to have all these qualifications, waiting for the love of your life to show up in your world. You have to choose those energies first. And then it actually shows up. So if you desire to travel, choose the travel, choose the travel, choose to travel. Then the money starts to show up. Then the possibilities start to show up. It is in your choosing. That is where your power lies. That is where the activation of the molecules lie. When you choose it, rather than being taking a seat back in your life, praying and hoping that that life will show up. And yet, all that it takes is your choice to change things, to receive exactly what it is that you desire to create. And this has created my world in to become such a magical space where the things that I truly adore, the things that bring me joy, they show up. You know I love to travel. That is definitely a part that contributes to me immersing myself in different cultures, going to different places all over the world, creating a business all over the world, bringing in my the technology aspect of myself because I'm a person that loves generative energies to be on the cutting edge of technology. So that's also included in my creations as well, as well as joy and family and rest and pleasure, elegance, fun, um, creativity, all of these different things. All that is required is knowing exactly what it is you desire and then choosing it. So I just want to take a little pause. I've been enjoying where I'm taking pauses in my conversations, pauses in life, just to have that pause and allow what wants to show up to completely show up and then take things to the next level. So when you live your life from the space of choosing, one of the things you do have to give up is this control. We want to control so much of our lives, of how things should show up, of you know what we should be doing, and um, you know bringing in all the intricate pieces of this detail has to be here, that detail, that detail. Once you let go of all of that and you're willing to be out of control, you 
actually allow the greatest possibilities to start to show up in your world. What the greatest possibilities are, are those things that are required to take you where you would like to go. When you are coming from a space of control, controlling every detail of your life, you exclude all of those possibilities because the only thing that you can see is what you know and what you are trying to control. So practice giving up control. Practice living in the unknown. Practice not... Because a lot of people say, I have to you know, see it first in order to believe it. Practice faith. Practice not seeing it. Practice knowing that it is going to show up. And practice taking action even if nothing is happening even if nothing is happening so if you're in business and you're offering a course and no one is signing up still continue to create the course still continue to create your business when you are actionable and giving up that control and still trusting and saying hey this is what i desire to create my business and still taking the momentum the energy of that the actionable steps the magic starts to show up. It will, and what usually happens is the thing that you're asking for starts to show up in a way that you never even imagined. The way that you thought that thing was going to come through, it's going to come through a completely different way, but you have to be committed to taking action and giving up control, giving up control. The other aspect is what has truly contributed to my life in you know creating these things and not spending like years and so many people will spend years and years and years and years just trying to figure out how to create what they desire and this aspect of not having ease in your life and having things be easy and ease sometimes shows up in getting help a lot of people refuse to get help because they're stubborn. They're, uh, they are like, I don't want to pay anyone any money. I don't want to commit to um, getting help or having to invest in myself. I don't have the money. Well, guess what? That's going to just slow down your time frame. I've been investing in myself for you know the last 10, 15 years, and I have dropped hundreds and thousands of dollars purely on my self-development, purely on my healing, purely on my transformation. And I don't regret any of that. Sometimes I literally did not have the money to invest, but I knew that this is what would take me to that next level, is that investing in myself. That was what was going to facilitate the change that I actually required and the change that I desired in my life. And sometimes, yes, when you are going through these changes, it won't be easy to make some of these choices, especially if, let's say, your bank account, you're looking at your bank account, you don't have much, and then you're like, wow, to really receive the transformation that I require to take myself to the next level, I'm going to have to invest in this course. But, you know, looking at these digits in this bank account, you know, so that's where that step, that faith, that giving up control of figuring out, not living life from your physical senses of what you can see and fully trusting that if you are being led and guided in a specific direction, that is for a reason. Because if you come to the conclusion that if I invest, I won't have any money, guess what? That's exactly what you're going to create. Rather than trusting and knowing that you live in an abundant universe and you can create anything and have everything that you desire. And so I have lived my life from if if the energy is there and if I if this thing is pulling at me to choose it as my next step in my own personal development and my business leaping and my business growing, I'm choosing it. And then I don't worry about, oh, um, you know, how's the money going to show up? How's this, that, and the other? What typically happens is once you make that investment, 
you actually get the money back. Every time I've invested when I didn't really have the money, the money actually...